So we just wanted to give PG and Morton the introduction that they deserved, given that they travelled all the way over from Oslo, so thank you very much. Myself and the Zen Jedi Masters are out in Portugal, we're all safe and sound, we're having a good time. It's pretty quiet around here, as you can tell. Um, but this is a very, very long video. Marcus has got the audacity to put such a long video on his YouTube channel, seeing as it's been so successful so far. Um, the actual swing work takes place around 19, 20 minutes in, but the rationale behind it all, um, I will leave that over to you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you can cut to 18 minutes, but you don't want to miss the first part, which is really the the really groundwork and it's all the nuts and bolts that allow everything else to take place afterwards to see that's really making the transformation so if you skip you're going to miss the bit of how it was made really so reintroducing missing missing movements really that we all we all miss so we identify that we recenter the body and then that allows the body to reorganize and we're also control we're also allowing, allowing them to regulate the physiology so basically creating the right state to go and play their best so ultimately something you can do when you're going to the driving range quick and easy uh, tools to use to help you create that consistency when you're playing so the, the tool that you're using to swing the, the golf club with is essentially under under your control you can influence the state of it and you can become an instinctive animal exactly with your golf swing just like PG and Morton. So I just want to thank PG and Morton for making the trip. It's so appreciated. And guys, I hope you enjoy watching the video as much as I enjoyed making it with them. Unreal. It's the, the instrument that swing the golf club. And we can use certain techniques just to, to calibrate. And it's very simple. This is just going to show you what's actually happening yeah. and how you can very easily influence it. Yeah. And by when you change your train of thought, <coughs> what that does to the body, yeah. the heart rate variability, which affects your blood pressure. What we're trying to do is harmonise the body and start to achieve a state where the body is in a, in, a, in a state where it's more receptive to its environment. It's going to be interesting to watch first and then we'll probably get PG to close his eyes so he's not getting influenced by this. Focusing on the breathing, just in through the nose, out of the mouth. When we started talking, yeah. it was giving you some interference, yeah. and then as soon as you start breathing in, <coughs> yeah. so you're controlling this. Yeah. This is really important, particularly for putting. Morton, do you want to pop, pop it on your finger? And I want you to think about um, a propeller. Okay, propeller's here in the chest, and as you breathe in, you're spinning the propeller. Yeah, so as you breathe in, the propeller <coughs> speeds up, yeah. and then when you breathe out, the propeller spins the other way and speeds up. So you're speeding up the propeller and slowing it down with the breath, yeah? So you to close your eyes and just... So you can open your eyes. <laughs> this is uh, fantastic. As soon as I said um, change, just think of the propeller, it suddenly went from this to like, and then just went like this. So your imagery really is powerful, um, and that's something to be harnessed with the golf swing as well with the imagery. So she says, so you get it, she says. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, you so were thinking of a propeller and sensing the breathing, and this happened. So, if you're thinking of the golf, visualizing the golf show, but sensing the golf swing, not thinking, not visualizing the golf swing, visualizing the golf show, and just allowing the body to react but and being mindful of what's happening you can feel it but not trying to shift your imagery onto the golf swing where am i where's the club where does it need to be where do i need to be makes sense this was that's dramatic that's really just tying in with what we're doing on the driving range the imagery the moment you become disconnected from your intention is the moment you stop reacting to it so if you're not getting what you wanted, there's a breakdown somewhere in how you're reacting to your intention. Not because your elbow wasn't there or there or there or your shoulder was here, which we know. So what we're doing here 
is we are creating a very calm state with the nervous system. Yep. So it's really going to accept what we're about to do. Understand. We're obviously both so different, uh, while we all are. So you, it's not a one size fits all. So you're going to be doing similar drills, but you're going to find you experience them very different, mm. and you're going to be using them differently. Do you know what I'd call it golf? Go on. Go, no. Go on. No, because all the other four letters were like f***ing shit. And that <laughs> <laughs> so what we're doing here, guys, is we're redefining what you what you um, associate as drills, what you recognise as drills. What we've just done in there with the breathing is a drill. It's a golf drill. Yep. What we're doing here is golf drills. Yes, yesterday, all this is golf drills. Yeah. But the, 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 what the purpose of the drill is, is enabling you to access movement, explore movement, and the body to self-organize. These, these tools are not trying to mold, trying to constrain you into a certain movement time yeah. or form. I'll just need to take your shoes off, guys. And more than that, I just want you to stand on the pressure plate and close your eyes. That's it, and just relax, just normal posture, and then just close your eyes. And just tell me with your eyes closed where you feel your weight. Where do you feel the weight in the feet? Where do you feel the pressure? Heel and uh, toes. Heel and toes. But not the toes, but the... The balls of the feet. Yeah. And do you feel more in the heels or more on the balls? More in the heels. And is it the same on each leg or is it a bit more on one leg than the other? More on the left, I think. So just open your eyes. So there's the center of prep, there's your center of gravity. And you are one perceptive guy because it's exactly. That was really sensitive, wasn't it? Very sensitive. Mm -hmm. Your system, I mean, when we did the breathing, you react really quick. So the information you're giving your body has got to be really good because um, you react really, really, really sensitive, but really quick. It's fantastic. Providing the information is good and the intent is there, and you're allowing this process, this organic process, just to take place. So, this fusion between the intention, the reaction, and the mood, you've got to let that be uninhibited, uh, not throwing in any conscious interference. Because, uh, yeah, you're very perceptive, it's, it's fantastic. I've just recorded that, so yeah. what we're going to do is we're going to retest in a minute yeah. and see what happens, okay? Because this is really important, because if you balance, when your where your centre of gravity is is really important in golf because we we need to be balanced for rotation. Oh. Okay, and our body is an organised its movement around its balance. In, in my starting point, I have more on my left side. Yeah, and well, that's maybe why it's so uh, it feels so much going a little bit to the yeah. right. Yeah, mm. possibly. Yeah. Essentially, what's going to happen, guys, is you're going to create your own blueprint. It's like you're writing your own textbook of how you do yeah. it. Um, and then you've got reference, oh. self-reference. So, uh, yeah, PG, if we want to step up, um, uh, just close your eyes, get comfortable, no resting posture. Keeping your eyes closed, PG, what are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling that I find balanced. I feel that I have uh, more pressure in my left foot, maybe in the balls on my left foot. Inside. Overall, where do you feel the pressure? More, more in the heels than no, the, the, ball, the balls. And more to the left, more to the right. Same. Where do you feel? Same. Where do you feel the pressure? Does it feel more to one side or the other, or does it feel bang in the middle or <laughs> forward, back, left, right? Left, maybe. I definitely feel more pressure in my balls than in my heels. Okay. Oh, interesting. It's balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can open your eyes, PG. So I'll just play it. This is what it was. This is what it actually was. Oh. So yes, there is pressure. Yeah. On the balls. Yeah. With more in the heels. Yeah, look where, look, yeah. look where the centre of pressure is here, which at the moment, this is centre of gravity, because yeah. we're not moving much. This is kind of postural sway. It's further back. Yeah. So if we, it's back into the left, like, like Morton. Yeah. yeah. You've actually got 55% of your body weight on your left, 45. So there's a 10% yeah. difference of body yeah. weight. 10% yeah. is quite, quite huge. So 
Um, and we're not, we, you've probably never done this before, so no. so it's it's not like you've got any ref, any reference from before, no. it just shows that you're, you felt something different to what's actually happening. Yeah, yeah. And this is just body weight, so imagine what the golf swing's like, we can't, we don't feel the thing, no. we can't control the thing, we can't, we can't, be, we can't accurately dis, um, describe where we are in space, so we don't need to, because it's not a conscious thing. No. This is just for reference, there is no right or wrong, no, no, this is telling me a hell of a lot though about yeah, yeah. your uh, posture, yeah. and the pelvis, and the cervical spine, yeah. or the skull position, it's telling me a lot of things about how your body's organising itself, which we don't need to go into, that's information for me, mm. um, to help shape what we're doing. So um, I need to take the shoes off, grab a spiky ball, the black ones, and find just find some space here with me. So extension opposites, you guys. <laughs> His extension is easier, your flexion's easier. He rotates to the right, Morton rotates to the right, you rotate to the left with, with more ease. So you guys talking golf swing technique would be super dangerous <laughs> <laughs> trying to talk about the same stuff because you're almost yeah. yin and yang. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, in certain, and so it's like, it's great conversation, but you have a completely different experience to what Morton's going to have and vice versa when you start to try you could be talking about the same thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's, that's life anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. for you guys, movement wise, mm -hmm. you're experiencing something very different. So now what we're going to do, <clears throat> we're going to just see what happens if we just stimulate the feet, stimulate those nerve endings, and create some mobility and to release some tension and see what happens to the rest of the body, see what happens to your movement. So just, I just want you to squeeze the ball through the middle of your foot. It might feel a bit uncomfortable. Just back and forth. Okay, so now what I want you to do is work on the inside arch. Yeah. So try and get on top of the ball and work back and forth. And now towards the edge, edge of the foot. And now really try and break down this part here, the balls. There, really work it in. Now take the ball and stretch out the toe. Try put on the floor, stretch out the toe. And now we need to bend your knee and stretch it. And then come back. And then take the foot, take the heel, and just bang your heel up and down the ball. Straighten the knee to do it. And then take the foot, heel on the floor, and roll the ball, roll the foot round the ball. Try to touch the floor with the edge of the foot, so you're going to have to rotate from the hip. Brilliant, and now let's go with the other foot. So, now the other foot on the inside, brilliant. So now I just want you to, I just want you to put your left foot forward, and I just want you to push your weight forward off your back foot, so the, the heel can lift, and I just want you to let this knee just collapse inside the foot. That's it, and then just come back again. So you're flattening the arch, and then I want you to take your left arm, and rotate with it to the, to the left. And that'll allow the arch to flatten more. That's it. Let your knee collapse in. So it really rotates in. Let the knee collapse in more. BJ, so it comes inside. There we go, yeah, yeah. Left arm now back. So now that goes back as your knee goes in. So it's this. Mm. So now your knee's going that way and your arm goes this way, just gently. We're not gonna get a lot of rotation. Right. Just gentle stretch. And now we're gonna do the legs. So first of all, we take right arm and go in. We're tapping into your loading phases and your, and your stretch, stretch recoil potential here. You can probably feel it. Yep. So now just shake your feet. I want you to go for a little walk, not down the range, but just here for me. Just at normal speed, as if you've got a bus to catch. Up. And you're just gonna walk up, eye line up, and just, Sense what you're feeling through the feet, no more than that. Where do you feel your heel striking? How do you feel the weight moving through the feet? Like a, is it like a rocker feel? And then let's go back in. And uh, Morton, if you just want to stand on the plate for me, let's just see what you feel. What do you sense? More, uh, more weight. More than ice cream. Yeah. More. More weight uh, in, uh, on, the, on the balls and then in the start. Slightly more balanced on the right side. It feels like I'm leaning forward. 
more to move the bolt. So you can open your eyes and look what's happened. Well, it's 70% over weight. So notice the centre of gravity's moved forward. Yeah. I think okay. And yeah. now you've got the footprint, but you've got the tripod. Yeah. This is now we're giving the body, the nervous system's like, oh, we're stable. Yeah. Okay, we've got a sense of gravity. Now, joints. Your joint structures now are the centre of gravity, so your joints now can organise themselves more through the midline of the joint, instead of it being kind of a little bit one way or the other through, because the muscles are allowing the, the skeleton, the anatomy to organise itself. So what this is doing is it's opening up movement potential. Make sense? And we're rebalancing. Golf swing needs good balance. So, um, PG, that was fantastic more than that, it really was. So eyes closed. Uh, it feels definitely more uh, forward in, in my in my bolts, definitely. And but the the most change I feel is that the last time I, I felt that I was swaying much more. Now I'm more stable. Awesome. Rest say postural sway is reduced. Yeah, we're always going to move. We're always in motion. Yeah. But I think this is why I was mentioning earlier about the breathing and this. These are awesome for things like imagine putting. Chipping. So different. Yeah, <laughs> huge difference. The impact that has on your movement and the body as a whole is huge. Yeah, yeah. You're in new territory with posture. Yeah. Definitely. So this is the, this is the start of the reorganisation. So if yeah. you do this before your practice session, your body is now in a state of flux. Yeah. We've, what we've done is we've perturbated the system, we've disrupted it a bit yeah. and now it's in a state of reorganisation and yeah. now we're going to throw more drills in and now we're going to throw more awareness stuff in to start to explore. So now we're using our perception and self-awareness and what it's driven by is the intention. So we've got to check, we've got to be, we've got to be changing the task, we've got to be exploring the task, we've got to be exploring the movement, exploring space. We create an external map, we have an internal map. The place we go now is the walking swing because we're just been walking out there. Okay. This is this is affecting the gate cycle, and now we're going to use these this movement potential from the gate cycle into the golf swing. The golf swing, look here. This is yeah. walking. I'm exaggerating the movement there. Yeah. If I bring this foot back into position, yeah. I'm already I'm halfway there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This foot, by the way, watch. This is pronating. That's yeah. starting to that's starting to resupinate. This foot's pronating, this foot's resupinating. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same movement. It has to be. That's the ankle, pelvis. Watch this. This hip hikes. Yeah. This hip's higher. Yeah. Here. This is dropping. This hip hike, this one drops. Torso mechanics, watch this. Okay, lateral flexion away from this yeah. hip. Yeah. This hip's hiking. Yeah. This is high. Yeah. Torso away. Yeah. Torso towards. Yeah. Okay. Right scap retracted, left scap retracted. Yeah. Arm internally rotated, arm externally rotated mm -hmm. in a golf swing. Mm -hmm. Retraction, external rotation, retraction, internal rotation. High flexion away, rotation towards. Yeah. Same. Yeah. It's all the same. So what you just you start to stretch out these chains, which you're going to allow you to. But that's not a prescribed model. That's just functionally in a weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Primitive movements. Mm -hmm. So training should be more primitive based. You're going to train. You're using all these primal patterns that are inherent in our evolution. So, like I said yesterday, we've been hitting and throwing things for hundreds of thousands of years. We've got to just allow the body to do it. And if we haven't got the patterns, we've got to allow the body to explore the patterns. And, it, and if we want to really start to optimize our performance, we've got to reintroduce these patterns that we've missed, that we've lost. What we're starting to do here is we're starting to reintroduce the building blocks. The planes of movement that are either lost, redundant, we reintroduce them and then we let the body reconfigure it. Okay, let me just, I want you both to have a go on this. So, if I can step in, PJ, if you don't mind. Morton, if you come around here, you both can have a go on this, take it in turns, if I can just borrow a club. You're gonna start over here. If you don't mind standing there first, I'll just show you. And all you're gonna do, imagine the ball's there on the mat. You're gonna start with the right foot. So we're gonna use the walking to initiate everything. And we're gonna use counting as a way of just controlling the tempo and sweating the movement. So we're going to count the steps. What we're really counting is, is weight. 
weight shift. So we're going, start with the right, so you're going to go one, two, and on three, you'll step onto the footboard. So you'll go, you can't come to more than three. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't help you. You can take your shoes and socks off. And <laughs> <laughs> so, one, two, three, and on three, you're going to slide the club in. Okay, so you're just going to slide the club in, feeling the club on the mat as you slide, feel the sole of the club, this is like your fingertips, this is the, this is the end of your body this now, this is like an extension of your anatomy, this is the, it's like a prosthetic limb, so it's like one, two, three, four, you're going to rock it forward and let your hands go forward, but not the club head, this is a movable part of the chain, just like the shoulders, knees, hips, we've got to let the body Recognize this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then the finish is seven. It's like a dance. Yep. One, two, three, four. This is not going with me because the ball would be there. Four, five, six, seven. Take it in turns, have a go on there guys, both of you. The pace of the swing, don't worry if it twists, the pace of the swing must stay consistent with the pace of the walk. So if you want to swing slower, walk slower. If you, the time between the counts must, make, must stay the same. So when you're swinging, three, four, five, six, seven. It's all flow, it's like that metronomic rhythm. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. That's slowing down. You're all slowing the swing down. Yeah. yeah. Just because you're used to thinking about it, that's all. You're not used to thinking about walking, you see. Well, so your walking's, your walking's more of a natural rhythm. So your goal swing. Luckily. <laughs> your goal <laughs> swing's not matching well, your natural rhythm. Because you're walking in there at a pace that feels comfortable, no. but you're suddenly slowing down. So it's like walking and going. Well, we want the goal swing to be a continuation of the walking. Hey, Mike, you alright? Yeah, good, thanks. No, that's too big. No, it's not the same tempo. It's not the same rhythm. You'll find it. So this is where we need to go. Right. It stops. Yeah. I can't come. I can't get there. Yeah. So. I want to do a little exercise with you before yeah. we go to PG. I want you to think of an ice skater. Yeah. Okay? Sort of skiing maybe. Okay? What yeah. are you gonna do? If you'll just if you step to the side for me, you're gonna start here. The feet go first. But when you go here, you're gonna let your hip shift over the leg and the body will naturally recoil and bring you back. Yeah. You're not having to physically move. You go there and you'll be, yeah, you'll be going towards the edge and then you come back. Think, or you can think of an elephant, this is the trunk, oh, and yeah. you're just letting the thing swing. But you're going from side to side. Yeah, the arms have got to swing freely. Swish, yeah. swish, swish. Start down there and then walk up here and do it. From side to side. Good. You don't have to follow through as much with your chest. Just switch your arms. It's more about the hips. Let the hips shift more. Now, bigger, bigger steps to the side. Bigger step. Let the foot go. Yes. Move across. Move across. Move across. Switch the club. Let it snap at the bottom. Feel that. There we go. Yes. That's it. Spin around and go the other way now. That's awesome. Let it swish. Swish it back. Swish it through. Let your weight shift from side to side now. More shift. Bigger ice skater from side to side. Yeah, that's it. Swish it. On the way back now. Very good. Let your hips shift and slide. Let your hip go up. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Good. Now let's try the walking again. Without, don't think about anything. No practice swings. Just start where you're comfortable walking and just count in your head. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Go on now. Much better one. Well now take that away, do it without the board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good.
Now with the ball, same thing. Play a big draw. Let's go for a big draw, walk in. Big draw. Ah, well done, that's all right, well, watch. Draw. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Well, just that's not that bad. No, it's just because you don't strike it. Yeah. <clears throat> so you've got, I want you to have the emotion more in the, really express yourself in your golf swing movement. Yeah. Not in the ball fly, not in the strike, it's in the movement. That's where the emotion is. Sure. And that ball moved, so you had to react. You moved the ball, and you didn't stop, which was brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. You let yourself react. We know how perceptive you are, because you, you went, balls were stayed at the day. You told me, basically, what that machine told me. <laughs> <laughs> and you did, and we had the heart math machine, and you were like, breathing, perfect, almost like coherent, within 20 seconds. So it's really important where you shift your attention, because it can be very useful, or it can be very uh, unuseful, useless, I should say. So let yourself explore more now. Enjoy the movement more, enjoy the shifting of your weight, push it and enjoy the shifting of the momentum. Start to explore how much, how much can I go? Where's, where do I feel my limits are? Can I go beyond that? More freedom? Yeah, more just with his weight shift. Yeah, yeah more freedom. Yeah. His weight, let his weight shift his momentum. Yeah. Use it. Your steps in your mind. Well done. Now stay here for me. You don't, it doesn't matter if you hit it good or bad. Stay on the mat, set up to the ball. Use your four, five, six, seven. Push forward on four now. Superb. And again, use those, feel the weight pressure through the feet as you push forward and back. All this, what we've just done, is just a journey to get you to here. You don't have to be perfect on every single bit. It's not a failure to think, oh, I've struck it well, I'm not moving great. It's part of the journey. It's like, it gets you to there. It gets you to there. Is that all the uh, manuscript that uh, tells me this is wrong? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Wait till you see the video. Mm. The same? Yeah, we got But that's a different shot, isn't it? When yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. That's like... Different animal. He is a different animal when he does this. Does that feel different? Yeah. Look how soft you hear. <laughs> It's like you just club something to death. Like we've, it's like we're in the Andertal Manor. We just go bang. It's like I'm just, you're just watching it now. And you're like, yeah. you're like, yeah. You're, you're proud of what you've done, but you're also relaxed. But there's yeah. like, so look, you couldn't be really. There was not tension, or you wouldn't be able to move. But there was a, there was an, an active tension. The body just applies it naturally around your intention. You were going to strike something, bang, and you created a chain. And you hit it, and afterwards you're there and you've relaxed. Okay, I, thing's dead, so you're all right, you're not going to die, it's not going to bite you. I feel I'm in the right position to release the power. Awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Let's start it out to the right more now. Let's start it out. Yeah. First telegraph pole, second, third. See if we can start it on the second and draw it back. Ah, yeah, yeah, good. Just be good. Come over it a bit. So, this is interesting. Oh. Coming to you in a yeah. second, PJ. So, I changed the task and you started to go back to your old yep. routine. Yep. Okay? Yep. Now this is where when I'm not there, this could go unnoticed. You would not, maybe not identify that this is happening. You wouldn't notice I can, it. I feel it's not the right. Yeah. Thing. But you might not know why. And what's, what's driving this is the stuff that you do before you even go to the ball. So you could be here, seeing the shot, feeling a few swings, okay? And you can do that here too, but you were making lots of swings looking down here. Okay. And you even did this. I know what you're trying to feel, okay? <laughs> I know exactly what you're trying to do, okay? Because we all do it. Yeah. That's like throwing a ball and going, just checking out and go, it's like, right, I'm ready to go. It's like, you'd look and you'd go. 
you know, you know when the ball moved, yeah. when you did the walking swing, it moved, you reacted, it was like. Mm. <laughs> so, there's something I just want to do with you. Because you're, you're so close. So look at him now, look, he's moving his feet, yeah. moving his arms, look, he's waggling, he's, wait, he's looking at me. Yeah. He's waiting to react, yeah. he's like this instinctive animal ready to kill. Like a dog for waiting for. He, he is, I'm, I feel like I'm doing a tree. <laughs> yeah. Ready, so you're going to whack it and draw it through those telegraph, through those rugby posts. If it comes to rest, walk up and just hit it, okay? If it goes past you, just walk up to it and hit it. Okay. Good, and again. Good. And again, right, you've got too much time to think about this, so closer, ready? And again, just let it go. Let it go. Well done. Hey. Better when I sped it up. Better when I sped it up. Draw through the posts. When you speed it up, you're such a reactive kind of person, okay, slowing it down is completely counter to what you yeah, do. Yeah. And all you've been doing is playing golf slow. Yep. Look, you hit it. You hit it when it's quick. Oh. That's bizarre, isn't it? It's, well, it's not, but... He catches it every time. The faster, the better. That was too slow. Whoa. That was too slow. Yeah. Very good. Good. <laughs> One more before we wear him out. Good. So now, forward press and then let your feet throw it back. There we go. Look at the finish. It's like, it's like watching a different player. That's the potential inside. It's not frustrating at all. <laughs> <laughs> and what you're showing, exactly. And that's why golf's frustrating, because you know how good it is. So, but you're finding a way of how you repeat this, because you've got to go to the ground for it. You've got to go to the feet. Look at that golf shot. So, this is where practice gets messy, and it gets, if you let it, you think it's frustrating. I don't think this is frustrating. I love this. Because, yeah. because I see the end. Yeah. Yeah. You're not seeing the end. What you're doing is, you go into a practice session and you're letting emotions drive your practice. Yeah. And if, if I wasn't here, that would have gone downhill. Yeah, that would have yeah. been frustrating. Yeah. PG, I'm really pissed off. I want to go. Let's go drink some beer. <laughs> I'm not disputing that's a great thing to do. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, we want to enjoy the experience of being on the driving range. You've got to be a little bit more in control of your practice session. You've got to have a little bit more, bit more of an eye on where you're going with this session, where you, what's the purpose. Yes, the intention is what you've just done there, but what you're doing away is you're testing yourself. I want you to, I want you to enjoy the challenge, enjoy the test, enjoy the frustration. Take that on, and it's like I enjoy this. This is, this is fun. The more frustration, bring it on because this is me learning. Because when I'm feeling frustration, what I'm actually doing is I'm adapting. I'm learning about myself. When you're learning about yourself, you're actually growing. If this was really, I'd be worried if you were flushing this, it'd be like, yeah, great, we're high fiving and all that stuff, great. We're not learning that much. You're learning something, but nowhere near as much what you're learning at the moment. This is like, this is where you need to be. You need to be in the trenches. And then when you come out of the trenches, you're far better for it. You're a lot more equipped. You feel you can adapt. You know yourself better. This is where you have to go. So just go in there and just find that chain. Straight away, you're moving again. Great, start you moving like you were earlier. Because the, the forces that you're creating are the right forces, they're coming from the right place. Look at that. But we had to go through all this mess, and people think it's mess, and it's not. It's, it's actually really structured, this, believe it or not. <laughs> it just doesn't look it. Yeah. Before the shot, when you see that on video, before the shot, when you look back, you just know it's going to be a good shot. When you look back at this, I'm saying this now so you've got reference, when you go back and look at that, you'll be looking at how you're moving, you were looking, everything was flowing, it's like, there's only one result here. 
A little different? Yeah. Now try and make it flow. So you start in your normal place, then you push and go. You don't stop, you don't kind of pause. You just go, you get your set, get your set up, then you push in and go. You just push at the start of the swings now, you push and go. Set. We wanted strike, we wanted repetition, yeah. but what starts to happen? It comes from a really messy top in all over the shop to suddenly you're getting what you wanted. Push and go, you feel the load. Load into the floor, when you push forward you feel the load, then you unload as you swing back, naturally. It gives you the unload. Shot. The ground is giving you the forces for your swing. Oh. When you push forward, it's giving you the forces now to do it. If you stop... I, I have done all, exactly the opposite. <laughs> I focus in, in starting yeah. this. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, but it doesn't work. But no, so you're finding out. So now we're going forward, and then this one, this gives us the forces to go back. We're using yeah. the forces. When you stop, now you're not using them, you've got to create them. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that doesn't real. Just looks a totally different animal when you do this. This is we're getting <laughs> we're getting you back to your primitive self basically. Actually, we're starting to reveal your identity because what you were was something you'd constructed yeah. that had some of you in there some of the time, but you weren't really you weren't really expressing yourself. You were suppressed, trying to trying to conform to something. I don't know what it was, some something. Um, but now you're starting to express yourself freely and letting yourself go. You're reacting. This is kind of this is golf. Very good. Oh, and look what you did at the end. Now I know you're on it. Now I know you're on it. Did that? That says everything. That's not this. That's you. That's your identity. Well, that's your blueprint. That's you reacting. We're using the golf club because you can't do this if you're tense and you're trying to. You are reacting to the shot. This is part of you. That's where it's. The, that was it. Cool. We'll go okay, back. PG. Now we it's take PG. lunch. Let me take. Now go PG. to the airport. Going to PG. It's all on you now. What time is it? We're going to run over a bit. If that's all right. Then you talk, talking and giving tips and instructions. And I do what I do. I'm analyzing me uh, towards what I've done before. Yeah. That's not good. No. It's uh, holding me back. Yeah. So, for PG, I've got something special for you. More S&M. <laughs> <laughs> uh. We're going to put that on the right foot. Oh. Now this is like an accelerator pedal on your car. You yep. can borrow the club. So we're going to use this as a little kind of bit of feedback. Yep. So it's going to go under the foot, and you can squeeze. You so you can squeeze it. Okay. And all you're going to do without the ball, we're going to squeeze. We're going to on the way back. We're not going to squeeze it. Yep. Okay. And you're not going to squeeze it yet. You're going to squeeze it when you want the speed, when you want the snap. Does that make sense? So if you squeeze this too early, yeah. then it's going to snap too early. We want to, we want to use it later. Now I want you to play around with when you use it. Okay. Keep your foot in contact with it. You just don't press it on the way back. You don't lift it. You just don't press it. Yeah. So just let me have the club. Stand up right for me, forget a golf swing. Just turn around and have a look at this spot behind you. Okay, now take your grip and the club, come back to, to the beginning. Look at the spot on swing. Now keep your, just turn your eyes back to the just your eyes. I feel different? <laughs> I've never been there. <laughs> feel okay to do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'll do about that, will Hold it. So we're not, the thing is, We've not told him to do anything, I just said look at that so his body uses it, yeah. you see, so. 
tells you a lot about your movement. Yeah. We're listening to the body. We're giving it attention. It tells us how, how it wants to move. Now use the accelerator when you want it. So you're going to you're going to decide when you push for the power. Now the place where your pressure was, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you another one on the left. You're going to use two accelerator pedals. This is one other Ferrari. <laughs> it's got two accelerator pedals. So now you're going to swing back and you're going to press both. You'll press both. Okay. That's it. And now you're going to swing down and when you want the power you press, you push both. Okay. Yeah. You're not going like, it's not, this is not going to happen. As you're swinging the club, what's going to happen is you're going to press, but what it's doing is giving you the, the pressure, the direction that, you move, that you're using your pressure, it's going to create the torque. Yeah. Okay, so you're pressing, yeah. and when you press, you're going to naturally rotate, so just yeah. go with it. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah, I understand. Feel the balance? Yeah. I mean, that was an amazing shot. What did you feel there in your movement and your swing? I felt that I really had my body out of the way and the club was just coming like this. Much Brilliant. more than it. Not so much body movement like that. Just, yeah. That's fantastic, PJ, isn't it? Yeah, that's unreal. Shut up. How does that feel? That felt like I started from the bottom. So the arms and the body was coming later in. Right. Then I felt like I got the time much better. And how did you feel about the shot? Yeah, it was just at, as I hoped it should be. Brilliant. Yeah. Strike feel good? Yeah. Yeah. Fly was perfect, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's what we were after, wasn't it? More hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, launch on it is unreal. So you finish now Unreal. as a more of a dare I say it I don't well I don't, just more of a balanced finish more of a yeah control balanced finish yeah yeah and I feel it goes up I'm going up and stopping like here wow that's, that's cool that is cool that's more this way yeah the vertical yeah. force you're using now and you're yeah. timing it right oh wow that felt good yeah it looks it. No, I feel like I'm really going upwards. Different. Really? Totally different, yeah? I hope it looks, looks like it also. You'll see, yeah. <laughs> That's the beauty about seeing it on video. That's what video is good for, just yeah. an affirmation of the changes that are taking place, not for trying to use it to make change. Big drop. Yeah. That's, That's beautiful, beautiful, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I didn't see it. It's landing. No. Oh yeah. Dead straight. Yeah. That's it. Like that? Yeah. yeah. Just, Just like, like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting hot. There we go. Shut up. That was nice, right? Oh, he's dropping the club as well now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Go on, PG. Treat us to one more then. Yeah. What we do, bro? Fade left on the posts. Which one? I'm so starting left. Left, left, left on the left post uh, towards the red flag. Yellow flag. <laughs> Brilliant, PJ. <laughs> awesome, mate. Well done. Fantastic. Well, I want to do a little bit more now, just quickly. Okay. That was brilliant. You know the propeller? Think of the propeller as you swing. Okay. You could use breathing, but think of the propeller for the backswing. So the propeller's twisting, spinning at the speed you're swinging. 
yeah, on the way back, and then as you start to swing the other way, it changes direction and speeds up. So you are, you are, but the propeller doesn't just stop and then start the other way. It goes fast, slows down, and then turns, changes direction, and then speeds up on the other one. Yeah. So you're starting to feel that acceleration and deceleration. That was unreal. Huh? How's that feel, Martin? Nice. Brilliant. That's a wrap. Thank you. Hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah. It's been awesome. Yeah. So, guys, just come back in here a second. Now, we didn't measure your club head speed, but we could see the shots. Yeah. More than there. I can feel it. You can feel yeah. it. Again? Okay. Club head speed, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The strike. And bad shots better. So when you're starting to enter this state, we noticed we were starting to get the repetition. And for PG, less tension. Yeah. We can tell from the finish, both of you yeah. really yeah. Yeah. start. The yeah. 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 Recognition of your movement, and you just said towards the end, I yeah. can feel it. I yeah, yeah. 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 When I managed to, to, to get the ground and work upwards and forward, then it's totally different. Yeah. Look at the movements that you, we've never told you to do this. No, no. And you're starting to make these little micro movements now yeah. that you probably never made before. No, no. Because of the experience of, yeah. of, of explore, exploring the movement. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Much. Please. It's been a pleasure. I'm thank you, Martin. Thank, I'm, I'm, hey. My yeah. pleasure. Thank you, much, Martin. <laughs> thank you, Robin. Nice to meet you. It's my pleasure. Yeah. I really appreciate you making the trip over from Oslo. That's on the main thing. Yeah. When are you coming to Oslo? Yeah. Well, yeah, when it. you want me to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. Set up a clinic. Yeah, yeah let's do that. Yeah. That'd be awesome. I'll yeah. that. Yeah.